The trenches near Snizhne have now been abandoned, but the traces of war still lead to the battlefield. This man goes by the nickname Czech. He's been a separatist fighter since the beginning of the war in eastern Ukraine and is now helping to collect the bodies. Nothing else is known about the boy's identity, and he is not alone. Lily Radionova is a former paramedic who runs the missing persons office of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic. She is looking for around 400 people, among them 25-year-old Artem Abramovich. His mother, she says, has searched for him everywhere. If he's dead, his body is unlikely to be identified because there are no facilities for DNA tests. This rundown building is the Donetsk Central Morgue. Here, too, they're struggling to cope. The day we visited, March 4th, the scene inside was highly distressing. Bodies lined the corridors because there were simply too many of them to store. The smell was overpowering. По любому законодательству, то ли Украины, то ли России, надо получить разрешение следственных органов после не менее чем 10 дней. On the hill above Snizhne, a monument to those who fell here in the Second World War was destroyed in fighting last year. A new war cemetery rapidly filled up right next to it. In the heat of battle, many corpses were thrown into unmarked mass graves. Sometimes, stray dogs find body parts. As Czech surveys the valley, he says they'll keep finding bodies here for a long time yet.